Hello everyone and welcome. So a lot of people say that the game E.T. is the worst game to ever come out. Now I am here to beg to differ. I am bringing E.T. himself here to tell you that E.T. is the number one scariest game of all time. And I am going to argue that fact right here, right now. Juice, sauce, little bit of dressing, ice, wrist, little bit of flex. Before we get started, make sure you boys like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you don't, that's fine. Just do it anyways. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding, don't hate me. Alright, back to the video. Alright, so first off, we need to think. What qualifies a game as a scary game? Now, my answer to this is that, first off, it needs to be scary. And let me just say, this game, right off the bat, there's a jump scare. Could you imagine turning on a game and the second you open it, you hear... As soon as you turn on the game? Like, come on, man. You can't tell me that E.T. was not innovating the jump scaring game before jump scaring was even a thing in video games. And once again, in the title screen, it proves another point. E.T. is single-handedly the scariest horror game character I've ever seen. But once we get into the game, E.T. is bringing some riveting gameplay. This gameplay is so riveting that the entire gameplay footage I found online, courtesy of this man, thank you very much, is only two and a half minutes long. E.T. is bringing a whole new level to gameplay. Borderlands out here be like, yeah, we got like 30 plus hours of gameplay. No, no, E.T. is like, no, we got like two minutes plus. But I think this was a very strategic move. Like part of the scariness of this game is that you never know when it's going to end. Like when you're playing a horror game now, you're playing it, you're in the first level, you know you're going to survive because there's at least like another, at least five hours left in that game. But with this game, you don't know if there's another five hours. There could only be another five seconds for all you know. And that really does contribute to the scariness factor in this game. Another defining feature of this game is its phenomenal graphics. Now you might look at it at first and be like, these graphics are so bad. But really, it just makes it so much better, so much more scary. And here is why. When you are walking around and you can't tell what is a bush or an enemy, that's when things are scary because you just be walking like, oh, that's a nice bush. Oh, that bush just ate me. That was an enemy. See, that is really adding to the scariness factor because you're always on edge then. Another topic I'd like to bring up is how clueless you will be playing this game, which is a great selling point. When you're playing a scary game, you think you know what you're doing, but no, 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 not with this game. You're walking around, you have no idea what you're doing, you don't have any instructions going into this game. You just walk on in and play it, and that, my friend, that, playing without instructions, that is scary. Now earlier I did talk about the music and how scary it is, but the scariest part is the sound effects, because you do not expect these sound effects that are about to come out of this game. Now, if that isn't perfect for spooky season, I don't know what is. Now, I am such a fan of this game that I got E.T. himself in here in my igloo. That's right, in my igloo. To review his own game, to say how he thinks about it. Now, E.T., what is your opinion on this game? E.T. Home phone. E.T., really? Can you say nothing else besides that? Come, get out, get out, you little squirm. Alright, sorry about that. Um, I thought that would be a lot more riveting. Anyways, I think we did establish that this game is the number one game of all time. I will show you the very last clip of what happens once E.T. is phoning home and he is going back to his homeland. If that didn't make you cry, there is something wrong with you, and you need to go look at puppies for a little bit. Just saying. Alright everyone, thank you all for watching, like, subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next one. Toodles!